Um, so I was doing a play with some Buddhist vegans and um, they, number one, they were bringing really like delicious food, like raw chocolate to rehearsals um, to share with the other actors. And I had that thing, which is quite common. I'd been a vegetarian since I was seven. So I had that, like, oh yeah, I'm, like, I'm already in the club, just not quite there. And then one of the women, she lent me a book about the dairy industry. And I was so surprised because I thought I really understood farming. And um, when I realized, I, I, but then what I decided was to try it as an experiment, a bit like veganuary. I decided that I was going to do 100 days of being a vegan and I was going to write it up and see how I felt. But within a week, I felt so much better in my body that it then became, oh, I'm definitely going to do this forever. Just try it. No, you don't have to define yourself. You don't have to change anything else about your lifestyle. And also, no one's telling you off. I think something that's quite hard, lots and lots of people know, they understand, they've read about it, what kind of meat farming might do to the environment, what carbon emissions happens with um, cows and things like that. But they also think it's such a huge life change. And if, if you show them something like, hey, just if you slip up for one meal or you're so hungry and you haven't brought a sandwich with you somewhere, there's no police. No one tells you off. You don't have to miss out on anything being a vegan. You don't have to be hungry. You can eat just desserts if you want to. You can be unhealthy um, or you can be kind of taking care of your body and the planet and animals. So there's so many levels you can engage with it on.